Hey guys, and welcome to my haul video for April. I got so much awesome stuff to show off for you guys. As you can see, mostly manga, like always. One anime title, four figures, and a couple graphic novels. So let's just begin with the anime as normal. I do have another anime haul um, coming that I just never filmed uh, from last month, <laughs> but I think I'm just going to it, title it um next month just so since i'm filming it in that month but um anyway so stay tuned for that but i did get um one title in april for my birthday i don't know how to pronounce it but it's irogo uh proxy and i've actually been wanting this title for a while um i saw it on a shelf and i went back to get it because i was trying to like not get anything new because you know i have so much to watch um, but I went back and got, like, went back to get it. It was only $20, and, um, I was like, eh, and then it was gone. But, anyway, so, um, I am actually quite impressed that Adam found something that is not in my collection, and, um, yeah, all I know is that it's gothic, and, um, I want to watch it. So, I'm really excited that I can add this to my collection. Unfortunately, it makes me kind of disappointed that I can't put it on a shelf because my uh, manga kind of took up my anime shelf. So um, yeah, but I am really wanting to buy new shelves for my anime so I can display them and um, yeah, and show them off how they are intended to be shown off. But um, until then, <laughs> yeah, I really need to get to watching some anime because I am very behind. <laughs> But anyways, next up is I got this little cute sticker from um, Right Stuff uh, in my Right Stuff order. So, yeah. Next up is my Seven Seas titles. Um, kind of my goal for this month was to collect um, all the Seven Seas that I missed out on. They have so many like supernatural, um, like comedic and like fantasy titles. And I kind of just passed up on them when they were coming out because they um, didn't interest me at the time, like the art style of Seven Seas. I was collecting like, um, uh, what was I, <laughs> like Viz, and I was collecting um, a lot of Yaoi and stuff like that. But um, anyways, so now I'm kind of going back and filling in the gaps and I'm absolutely loving all the Seven Seas titles that I have read, and um, yeah, let's just get this huge stack. <laughs> I got a Centaur's Life. I got one all the way through, I believe, 16, and it's a 20 volume series, and volume 20 is um, about to come out. So I'm missing four volumes, but look at these covers. I've always been um, interested in this series, and when um, I decided to pick it up, it was already really far in, so I kind of was like, no, I'm not going to. But um, I have a thing for centaurs, I do not know why, don't ask. Um, but yeah. And um, I'm showing you all these because I want to get to my favoriteest cover ever in my collection, and that will be this cover right here. Like, there's always these challenges on Instagram, like, what's your favorite cover in your collection? I don't know. I just absolutely love this cover. Like, just, what? <laughs> like, I love it so much. I cannot wait to read this series. I just feel like it's just going to be a wild ride. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so, I'm so excited. I'm probably going to get the last four volumes and um, just binge it, but, yeah. And continuing, sorry about that, <laughs> I about knocked over all these books. Continuing my Seven Seas, I got this, um, Maeve Ever Reading was selling it, and someone else bought it, um, like, you know, in my last haul, I bought a whole bunch of books from her, so, um, I went online and saw that uh, this was being sold for um, very cheap <laughs> on eBay, so I was like, hell yes. It's just a really unique looking title that I 
that um, just drew my attention because I like I never seen anything like this before. It is a three volume series, so um, complete, and I can't wait to read it. Next up, speaking of Maeve Ever reading, I'm actually doing a video where I read um, some of her recommendations and. This is uh, one of them. I'm going to make a vlog, so stay tuned for that. But it's called Ghostly Things. It's a supernatural. I've seen this in stores for a while, and um, when I went to go get it, um, the stores don't carry it anymore. So I kind of had to b buy it. I went to three different bookstores. Uh, one no longer carried it that I knew was there just a month prior, which is weird that they would take it off the shelves. Um, I looked even in different sections, like, because, um, Seven Seas, they have, like, they put them on sale, so I was like, maybe it's over there, but, um, it's not. I guess they shipped them back to their warehouse or something, but, um, yeah, so I went to a different Books A Million, and they had Volumes 1 and 2, and then I went to a Barnes Noble, which, um, I'll, that I'll lead, lead into another reason why I bought so much, um, Impress, but anyways, I'll get to that in a second. Um, I, um, they only had one and two, too. So then, um, oh, I might as well tell the story. So the guy comes up and was like, Hey, like, which I never shop at a Barnes and Noble. I really like Books a Million because they have a bigger manga selection. Um, granted, yes, they do sometimes miss volumes, but. For the most part, they have um, most of the volumes. They actually made um, two more rows. Like it, their manga section is huge now. At least the one that's um, closest to me, and the other one always that's farthest away always has like more unique titles and like they keep older titles like on the shelves. Um, at least they used to. I noticed that they're kind of stopped doing that, but it is a smaller one. Um, but anyways, I just liked Books a Million better, so I wasn't going to renew my membership. I know, I'm going on a tangent. I wasn't going to renew my membership, uh, for Barnes & Noble, but, um, first off, the guy, when I walked in, he was like, hey, how are you? I'm like, good. He's like, do you need any help? I was like, no, just looking. So I went to look for Volume 3 of Ghostly Things, and, um, he actually, like, I want to say 10 minutes later, um, was came up to me and goes, hey, like, if we are missing any volumes, I can order them online for you. I can have them shipped to your house for free if you have a membership. And I was like, oh, wow, that's very helpful. So, um, yeah, so I went over there, ordered volume three, uh, got a membership because um, I used to have one, but I let it run out because I was just going to get one for Books A Million. And, um, yeah, and see so like good customer service made me get a membership and it also made me um go back to the shelves and actually like look for other books which i'll get to that in a second but anyways so um enough of my tangent i am sorry um but um yeah so anyways that is how all three volumes and complete of ghostly things <laughs> happened <laughs> Next up is Ghost Diaries. I was going through eBay and another, you know, 70s title, three volume Supernatural, and I'm really excited to read this. It was um, by the same seller that um, had uh, Centaur's Life and um, the Iguana one that was before Ghostly Things, and also this one right here and the next one so i just went ahead and bought all the completed seven seas titles besides you know the central life but anyways uh beast of abigail heard really good things about this one it's supernatural and by seven seas if you can see a pattern um this one is a fantasy um it was by the same seller but um volume one was on sale at books a million and i uh, was like, oh, I'm probably going to get it, because, um, it leaves off with that. A dragon to be continued, and I was like, okay, well, I definitely want to read this. And, um, so I looked on eBay and found it complete for the same price that it would be to buy them for the, 
um, like individually and then I'd have to track the other ones down and I was just like I'm just gonna buy it complete and call it a day and it's found out it was actually um, it's a video game um, like it's a the manga was written off of the video game so um, probably not gonna play the video game but this just looks really interesting and really happy to add another um, completed series to my collection. Uh, next is the Yen Press stack that I got because the guy was so friendly. Um, I know nothing about this, but it reminded me of Nana. It's um, a musical about these two chicks that are friends. Don't know if it's Yuri at, um, he comes a Yuri, but it just looks super cute and I'm really, really excited to read it. Next, this was all actually in stores, volume two, and I just got volume one. It's I think it's on volume 18 now, so I'm way behind, but um, a terrified teacher at goal school. Um, it's a comedy and um, do a natural and yeah, so just gonna slowly pick those up. Next up, I thought this was a new release because I've never seen it. Um, I'm really behind on the end press, um, but School of Horns. <laughs> Funny story about this one is when I was reading the description on the shelf. Let me just read it. Grab life by the horns. In a world where home, where, okay, sorry. It's like dark in here, um, which you can't tell by the f camera um, flash. But anyways, okay, anyways, let me read it like this, sorry. In a world where horns are the defining trait of magical beings, the longer the horns, the better. When I was reading this, I was replacing horns with dicks, so I don't know, I'm really immature, and I thought that was really funny. So I had to get it um, in Pretty Monster Voice, so there you go. Um, turns out this has been out for a while, Volume 2 is out, and it's on hiatus. Um, Lindsay Tut told me that, so um, yeah. Next up um, is my uh, BL. Um, Yaoi ish BL titles by Sublime. And um, for some odd reason, I th thought that these two were the same. Like when I saw them, I don't know why. And But then I noticed that they're completely different. But um, yeah. So, anyways, I got two titles by um, Yen Press. And then I got two more uh, BL titles. I think this is more Yaoi related. Uh, the Vampire and His Pleasant. Companions. Uh, that's volume two. This is volume one. And I'm um, just getting the rest of my yaoi out of the way. It is um, a sublime title. This is volume two of Toritan Birds of a Feather. And yeah, um, that's complete. And I cannot wait to read it. I am um, hosting a readathon for Pride in. So I'm just going to save it for that. I'm making an announcement video today or tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I need to make a lot of videos. I'm so behind. Um, next up is Mort Rio, The Patriot. I pronounced that wrong, but volume three. I'm just staying up to date with this, so I won't get too behind. I need to read it. I know. And in every haul, volume four, corner is ripped, but um, just wanted to stay up to date with this. So, um, and Heaven's Design Team, I only read volume one. I'm an awful manga reader. I am an awesome manga collector. So, I mean, at least I can say that. Um, volume four of Dorhi Odoro. I am missing some volumes. I cannot find the volumes that I bought. So, I might have hauled volume four already. And I meant to haul volume five, but either way, I bought a volume of Dorhi Odoro this month, so there you go. And I may have already hauled this, but I don't think I did. Um, volume <laughs> uh, Neon Genesis the Evangelion, volumes 13 and 14 complete. So I completed Neon Genesis the Evangelion. I am so excited. Um, this volume. Like went out of stock, was really high on eBay, and I thought it was just gonna be out of print forever. And they reprinted some, and it went back on Amazon. And Amazon, for some odd reason, knows how to take my money, and it advertised it, and I was like, what, that's back in stock? 
and the second it came back in stock, I got it. Um, but yeah, so complete another series. So I'm really, really thankful that came back in stock. Um, yeah, so. Next up is my used manga. Um, I guess even though some of these are used, but uh, you know, um, my used manga that wasn't on eBay. Uh, Pet Shop of Horror, as this was, I got this off eBay. Um, anyways, uh, Volume 1 and Pet Shop of Horror, Volume 1, Tokyo. So, um, really want to complete this series. Um, some of the volumes are going for like $100. So, um, I'm just, I have 10 out of 18, so I am more than halfway there. I only have 8 more volumes. Um with these. So now I'm going to just uh, fill in the gaps like in kind of in order. So um, I have two of one of them but not the other one so I'm going to get two of that one and then you know. So um, I'm slowly going to buy these each month um, and hopefully eventually complete it. So next up is Tramps Like Us volume 14. It is the final volume. I have volume 2 and 14 now, so um, I got this for really cheap, so I just thought I would, you know, um, pick them up when I see them. This was my first ever buy on Macari. Um, everyone always finds these great deals on Macari, and I keep looking and I don't see anything. Um, maybe I'm just, I don't know, I just don't see anything that I really want, or it's, um, or, like, with shipping, it's the same price as getting it brand new. So I'm just like, mm, like, do I want something used that I can get the same price brand new? Because, like, it is cheaper to get it on Macari, but if the shipping was free, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, I got this right here for $30 with free shipping. Volumes 9 to 15, so that is, I think... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven volumes for $30. I can't do the math right now. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's like $4 each, I guess. Yeah, like three fifty dollars or I think like $4. So $4 a volume. And I already have one through three. So now I'm only missing five volumes. Um, and you can see that these are used and library copies. And that would might piss someone off. But guess what? I'm keeping them on there, and I'm probably going to be too lazy, but I kind of want to <laughs> take the other ones to the library and be like, hey, if I pay you, can you put library stickers on the first part of it? Because it's library awards, and that's just a really freaking awesome touch. Like, you know how awesome that is? Like, it has the library. I don't know. I think I'm going to start, like, personalizing my manga, <laughs> but that is just awesome. Like, I think that's so unique, and... I just love it. Like, I want the other ones to say that, but I'm probably just going to be too lazy and never do it. But, you know, it's a good idea. But I'm definitely keeping the stickers on. And I know that a lot of people hate that. And I'm like a sin. I was just bragging that I'm a good manga collector. And then I leave ugly library stickers on. Anyways, I love it. I think it's awesome. But, okay, moving on to the last stack of manga. And then I'm going to cut and then come back because I cannot reach my graphic novels or my figures. But, um, yeah, so I've been wanting to complete Livingstone for quite a while now, and um, when I went to get it, volume 3 was out of print, and, like, just gone, gone. Like, I couldn't find it on eBay, couldn't even find it for a lot of money on eBay, like, it's just disappeared. Like, it was never there. So, um, yeah, I just was kind of checking, and, um... I found it for five dollars plus shipping so like it i paid like you know normal price for it but um i got volume two look at these covers they're freaking gorgeous volume three which is a library copy and it is beat up but i don't really care to guys because look i can read it um but i'm just really excited to have volume three like Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. Anyways, look at that. Supernatural for volume series about hot guys. So yes, please. Um, and volume four. So really happy. And I already have volume one, obviously. So yeah. I also completed this. This is um, by the same people, or the same 
woman, same, same person. I was trying to say woman's same. I don't know. Anyways, this is by the same mangaka that did a uh, pet shop of horror. Um, and volume four is complete. So now I have, um, another supernatural series complete. This one is from Maeve Ever Reading, um, and a five volume series complete by like the old Viz, um, like a shoujo. And I never heard anything about this. She was selling it. Uh, she hit me up. She knows that I like to buy complete series. She's like, Hey, and I was like, yes, please. I just think it's really unique and different and I don't see it in people's collections and I wanted it in my collection, okay? Um, that's pretty much the only reason. Um, yeah, I love it. So, um, I will eventually get around to reading it at some point. Anyways, I'm going to cut and come back with my figures and my comics. And for my graphic novels, I just had to add this to my collection. It is a fantasy, and the art looks quite stunning and different, and yeah, I just, um, just saw it in the bookstore and had to get it, so know nothing about it, and I don't know when I'm going to read it, like everything. Um, next, this is a birthday present. I am planning on, um, uh, was planning on reading this tonight, but it's quite late, and I woke in the morning, but, um, I might open it up. <laughs> It was a birthday present from Lindsay Tut. I will link her channel down below. She is an awesome person, awesome creator. She does book content, uh, book unboxings, manga hauls, uh, cha like challenge videos. Um, yeah, she's just a really awesome person. So definitely go follow her if you haven't. Um, she got me Saga. I've been wanting to read this forever and um, yeah, I'm just really excited to dive into it. Um, I really know nothing about it except that it's a sci-fi, so, and that everyone is talking about it. So, yeah. Next up is Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Search. This is the third volume out of nine. Um, like I said, I am slowly getting this. I want to get one each month. I know I'm one month behind, but, um, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good collecting them. So, um, yeah, like my goal for this year is to get like through the anime or the cartoon, my bad, the um, animation cartoon, then do Legend of Korra, then read all the about the manga, the <laughs> graphic novels, and then go to Korra, and then read the two, um, novels um for the i think it comes after no before i don't know it's um a different avatar so really excited um to be adding this to my collection leading on into more avatar i got more avatar figures now i'm only missing one they came out with a um two new waves with uh, i believe two in each one um but I'm missing, let me show you, oops, I got that wave complete, and I'm missing her. Don't really like her, but I will look for her, because I, you know, I like to complete, but I like this, um, Aang, I think he's funny looking, so this would be my third Aang, and this thing, and then now they announced 10 more Funko Pops. So, uh, I will probably not be buying any manga for a while because I want to pre-order those and I need to call and see where my fruits baskets Funko's Pops are. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is Spike. I got him at Books A Million. I think he will look quite nice on my shelf. Of course, I'm going to have him be holding the gun. But yeah, um, Cowboy Bebop's always been special to me. It's a classic. Everyone knows what Cowboy Bebop is, so, um, and I love Spike. So, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in to my haul video. I got some awesome stuff. Um, thank you for everyone that got me something for my birthday, and, um, yeah, I will see you in the next video.